Hello everyone, KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts and an interesting concept that uh, many people have asked. So I have uh, my tripod here, my carbon fiber mast with my Chameleon MCOM3 uh, base and that's ran on a wire way over there, way over in a tree, okay? That's just the antenna configuration today. Now, the question I had, or questions, was about the solar. Does the solar, which this is not all the solar I have. I have about uh, 1,500 watts of solar panels on the roof. And I have my, uh, you know, battery plant here and all that stuff. That's other videos. Will this affect or make noise on my ham radio? And in fact, I'm going to show you right now. It does. It makes a lot of noise. Um, so let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. You see that right there? This one. Right? And it slightly moves up and down. But if you want to run the span out on this 705, watch this. We'll go to 500 kilohertz on each side. Okay, look at the, look at the noise. That's across the, almost the entire band. And that's on all of them. Here's 40 meters. Here's 17 meters. 17, it's bad. It's bad, okay? Now, to prove that that is coming from my... So wow, 17 is bad, man. And, you know, if you run down... I mean, you, you could tr maybe find a spot in between, you know. You know, they're like every... They're, they're repetitive. Now, here comes the next level, right? Okay, so... Uh, in order to do, th let me show you this real quick. I'm going to use my app on for my solar charge controller. Now the sun's really not cranking today. It's actually raining outside. And uh, let me open. This is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to show you my solar app. Now my solar app uh, right now it's showing you know with the with the shade. I'm only pulling in 53 watts. You know, battery plant, 24 volt battery plants at 25.8 volts. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to probably cut the camera. I'm gonna set, I'm gonna go into settings and I'm gonna change, I use the user here, the user setting, not for flooded or sealed lead acid. I use the user and I, I just drop them all down to 12 volts so that the thing automatically shuts off. That's easier for me to go shut it off, uh, open it up and take the wires out. So I'm going to set all this to 12 volts and it's gonna think, hey, I'm fully charged. Let's go ahead and shut off. I'm gonna show you what happens to the noise here on 17 meters, for example, when this is not putting out voltage now, uh, or charging. Now, this is not, the solar panels up top are still producing voltage to the charge controller. The charge controller is not doing anything. Let me show you what happens. Watch what happens. There it goes. Now, you do see a little bit of it, okay? If I go back to 40 meters, now there's, there's a lot of ready signals. Look. Those are, those are not birdies, those are ready signals. There's a contest, I guess, this weekend. FT8, right? <clears throat> we'll go to 20 meters. All right, lots of signals pouring into me. Now watch, I'm gonna set it back to sealed lead acid uh, or flooded and watch it come right back on. You ready? Watch this. Flooded, set. There you go, now it's gonna say, okay, batteries aren't charged yet, let's go ahead and turn it on. Now watch what happens. There it is. Look. All right, just blanked out the FT8. Was it ready? How much? 17 meters is useless. So the solar, yes, I have a. It's getting ready to rain here. It is raining. This solar is not connected here. This is the big charge controller that I'll show you on the other channel about the solar stuff on this RV. But, uh, um, anyways, the solar does make a substantial increase in noise, and I got to do something about that, or just. Move away with my antennas. 73 KJ4 YZI.